guys do I have a package for you today oh my god okay so let's start with New Year's um, or actually Christmas this was gifted to me by my mom my mom actually beat everyone in gifts guys this year she won it typically I like to win and give everyone the best gifts but she definitely won this year with this one alone guys if you guys did not read the title and you guys haven't seen the thumbnail why the heck did you click here but if you did you guys will know that this is the sword of Gryffindor I would have personally bought a sword of Slytherin but that doesn't exist so without further ado here's the unboxing of the Slytherin I almost said it, Slytherin sword. This is the unboxing of the Gryffindor sword. So, without further ado, let's start the video. You're a wizard, Harry. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Johnny, the Collecting Wizard, and today we are taking a look at this unboxing, this amazing, beautiful Noble Collection item. For those who do not know what the Noble Collection is, it is basically a company that supplies replicas and items that us nerds slash collectors would appreciate and very very much love and since harry potter is my genre and my favorite fandom they have the biggest assortment of replicas that i know of of the harry potter franchise so this was this was one of the items that I really, really wanted. Um, it's definitely not a cheap item to buy. Uh, so, yeah, I have no idea. I think, um, I think someone told my mom that I really wanted this one. Do not know, but I'm so glad they did because this one is quite an item, guys. I actually already opened it, as you can see here. It is already opened, but this is the quote-unquote unboxing uh, I haven't taken it out of this box at all I just saw it and oh my goodness guys let's just go ahead and get into this unboxing so if you guys want to go ahead and purchase this this is actually in the noble collection website and it is going for hundred and ninety five dollars it is called the Godric Gryffindor slip Ah, oh, I almost said Slytherin right there. The Godric Gryffindor Sword. Again, it is going for $195 and it is in stock currently. So if you guys are purchasing this or watching this video as soon as it uploads, go ahead and buy it because it is most likely in stock. Now I'm going to go into the Noble Collection website and actually read the description of this sword. I keep trying to say Slytherin Sword. Now that thing is stuck in my head. Uh, I'm going to read the description of the Godric Gryffindor Sword. So it is an authentic recreation of Godric Gryffindor's sword as seen in the movie Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. The intricately detailed handle is set with crystal Cabocons? Don't know what that means. Um, sword measures 34 inches in length and comes permanently affixed in a permanently affixed. You could actually take that off, but let's just keep reading. Permanently affixed in a beautiful wooden display plaque. So it is genuine wood that you're about to go ahead and see. This is a big item that a lot of collectors want, not only because it's beautiful and gorgeous but also because it is one of the items that you're able to actually kill horcruxes with so the other one would be the basilisk fang which is actually right here have the basilisk fang going through tom riddle's diary uh which you could actually purchase at the noble collection just like this one here uh, i don't know what it is um priced at right now but oh my god why am i still talking all right so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys up close footage of the details do not worry uh, I'm just opening it because, oh my goodness, this has been sitting here since literally the 24th because that's when I opened my presents. And yeah, it's been sitting here for some time for me to do this unboxing. And then after this video, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, what I got in Christmas. So I'm going to do like, yeah, like a what I got for Christmas type of video of all my Harry Potter items that I've got this Christmas. Okay, let me actually zoom in right now with the other camera. You can see the handle is very beautifully carved. It actually has an eagle, or it could be a phoenix because you know it's a Gryffindor sword. And it also has a unicorn and the Godric Gryffindor name through the blade. And it also has this little handle here 
that you that you can see it like doesn't let the, the sword come out but you could actually uh, there's actual drills in the back that you're able to just take off and you have the Gryffindor sword by itself for those who are wondering if this this could probably puncture someone not gonna lie but it is dull it's not you know an actual sword you know like blade so don't go around you know using it as an actual sword it also has this really cool handle here uh, it has actually is the the lion representing the gryffindor house and yeah you're able to place it up and then the handle you'll see it when i put it up actually if you want to go ahead and check out some really cool reels that i'm going to be doing with this exact sword um follow me on instagram it is the collecting wizard just like my channel name and yeah you're gonna love these really cool reels that i'm gonna do because this is a beautiful item in itself um again 195 i believe you able to actually buy it in universal as well but remember guys if you guys are buying collector's edition wands or collector's edition items uh, from the Noble Collection in Islands of Adventure or Universal Studios in the parks, they are going to be priced a lot different and actually a lot higher than you're able to actually purchase it at the Noble Collection website because they have to make a profit uh, selling these items. So if this is $195 for me and for you guys, if you're buying it on the Noble Collection website, it'll probably be $230, something like that on um universal property so now i actually really want to see uh, the gryffindor sword without the handle so brb i'm about to do some construction work actually let me take out all this box and just leave the frame here so i'll be right back and it's actually quite heavy i thought this was going to be a little bit lighter um but no it is pretty heavy all right so this is the back it actually says Warner Brothers Entertainment Incorporated Harry Potter trademarked. It has four bolts right here and two right here. These two, I believe, are the handle. I'm gonna screw them off so that way I'm able to see the sword in its full glory. Don't try this at home, guys. I wouldn't recommend doing this, but if you wanna go ahead and get a real cool picture, this will be the one. Oh my God, it came off. Oh, it is actually pretty heavy. Oh, this is so cool. Ah, I really like it now. Oh my God, this is like, this is more than I thought I would like it. Oh my God. This is cool, guys. I have Gryffindor's sword in my hand. Oh man, the details are beautiful. Oh man, look at this. Guys, I have the Gryffindor sword in my hand. Like, I feel like Neville right now. Like, ah. Oh. And, this is actually the little bracket that comes with it and it holds it in place. I took it off for obvious reasons, but I'm probably gonna put it back. All right, and I am back. Oh man. It's so heavy, guys. I love it. I love that it's heavy because it shows that it's very, very sturdy and is made really, really well. So without further ado, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And without further ado, please make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because next video is going to be everything that I've got for Christmas, uh, Harry Potter edition. I, uh, I got a lot of things sent by Noble Collection. Thank you so much, Noble Collection, for sending me uh, such amazing items for Christmas. And I got some items that my family bought me. I got some items that I bought myself. I got a lot of items around me. I got boxes that I still need to open that I got sent by my friends. So it's a lot of things that are happening right now. So if you guys wanna make sure to be on the dot with all my videos, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you guys wanna keep up with my daily routine of craziness, uh, I have a lot of unboxings coming up. I have a lot of videos coming up. I have to go to Philadelphia for a Harry Potter exhibition in a museum. It is opening for, it is, is doing its grand opening on February 18th, I believe. Then we are off to Europe. We are going to London, Amsterdam, Scotland, Denmark, Ireland. It, we're going all over the place. So if you guys wanna see all of that information, all of that content, definitely stick around and hit that subscribe button down below. But without further ado, if you guys like this video, hit that like button down below. And without further ado, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.